columnist to Lewis Lemon is getting an upgrade. 13 News reporter Tori Clark walked the route today to see why the city's investing 50 grand in safer sidewalks. All aboard, 50 plus kids have joined the walking school bus over the past year. The city says this free service is making an impact. Reduction in absentees, uh, reduction in tardiness, uh, because it's a coordinated effort to, to get school children to, to school on time. The walking school bus comes every morning to Fairgrounds Valley to pick up students to walk a nearly two mile path of unstable sidewalk. So it's a bit shaky there, um, and sometimes we have no sidewalk at all. Denise Smith is the coordinator of the walking school bus, which is run by the YMCA. She walks these paths every morning with the kids. Living in the Ellis Heights neighborhood, she says sidewalks are essential for the program to continue. It's our safest route. We have to stay on there, and it would be nice just to have a more uh, walker-friendly and a, a smoother, <laughs> you know, point. This week, City Council approved $100,000 worth of new sidewalks on the path from Fairgrounds to Lewis Lemon Elementary School. The city is committing to pay half of that, and Rockford Corridor Improvements, a nonprofit in Ellis Heights, is picking up the other half of the tab. To ensure that the sidewalk is not a tripping hazard and properly invested in is just a great opportunity for the community. Wow. The Whether part of the walking school bus or just walking to the store, Smith says the sidewalks will make a difference in her neighborhood. For your Digging Deeper station, Tori Clark, 13 News. The city says the new sidewalks will be poured over the summer, so they'll be ready when students go back to school in the fall. Tomorrow, the YMCA is encouraging kids to trade the bus for bikes. It's National Bike Day. Its goal is to give kids and families a chance to engage in a healthy and environmentally friendly way to get to schools. So make sure